were back with our friends, Dr. Florian Berkmeyer, Wynn, and the horses. We'll see what we can learn today. Hi there. Hello. Yes. Yes. Ron, she really missed her previous owner. It took a long time to get adjusted here. She's still not 100%, but she's, she's getting there. Slowly, and lots of mm -hmm. Extra slowly. They're so beautiful. Yeah, they are. Nate sure. likes to show off for the camera, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spend a long time looking at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right there. together with them. Yeah, we've, we've done that with couples where there's two ropes, uh, sometimes it's mother to our parent to child also, but it's a very, and we did it a little bit in the hand arena, but doing it in a large area. So working with them forms a bond. Forms a bond gets them used to that relationship and, and the leader follower, mm -hmm. because we want to establish ourselves as that calm, caring leader. Mm -hmm. And Shasta has a little trouble with it. She'll just kind of stop. And so we can help her to help us and everybody move and work on that relationship. I think it could be fun. So, <coughs> pie ball is black and white? Pie ball is black and white, and that can be spots or the marking like this. Anytime it's black and white of any and what, 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 like what's this horse's name? This is Shadow. Oh, this is Shadow. Okay, I didn't recognize you, Shadow. <clears throat> My favorite horse. <laughs> Aside from also the one uh, we walked the last time. Oh, yeah. Nikki, was it? Yeah. Or? I have to check my notes, but I believe it was Nate. Nate, okay. Yeah. Nate. Okay, so we're going to walk with Brandy today. Yeah. Hi, right, Brandy. You want to go for a walk, Granny? Yes? Okay. All right. Yes. Absolutely. What, uh, what things do the horses do for your clients? Well, there's different ways that we look at it, none of which is like the complete story, but one way to look at it is that the horses are like a mirror. I mean, they don't reflect exactly what we do, but they maybe reflect parts of ourselves that we're not aware of. And somehow that tunes us into the parts of ourselves we're not aware of. Um, Some of the un unconscious. Yeah, I think. And, and the horses, I mean, something I just learned recently is, you know, the, the human heart has electrical activity and it has an electric field that goes out about eight, nine feet. Really? Or outside the human body, and wow. the horse's field of their heart is, my guess is, well, some people say five times as much, I think it's like ten times as much. So when you're with the horse, um, we're sort of in the heart field of the horse, and our hearts synchronize, and often you'll see people start breathing at the rate of the horse, and when you walk with the horse, the horse will try to match your steps. So those are all the ways in which to, it's almost like the brain synchronize and, and that oh, yeah. I think causes people to get out of habitual patterns. Uh -huh. and, um, for many people that are always stressed, it gives them a sense of feeling calm and, calm, yeah. and, and relaxed. That's the way I, I always feel when I, when I leave here is calm, pretty calm. build on that. I mean, the other thing is when you lead the horse and you connect with it, uh -huh. it gives, you know, you don't lead it by forcing your will on the horse. We call that being assertive without being aggressive. You lead 
as a calm, caring leader. Uh-huh. Like, when, you know, the, when the horse follows you, it's sort of a feedback. Oh yeah, this is the attitude I want to have in a very unconscious way, sort of like learning how to ride a bicycle. Yeah. So that gives people then that sense of how to move in the world, how to interact with horses or humans uh-huh. as a calm, caring leader. Should we go inside? Yeah, let's do it. We did a workshop, a retreat on Saturday called Horses Healing Healers. And it was uh, a chiropractor and a couple therapists and a couple body workers. And it was really powerful. Uh, I came home and tried to have a bath. Hi there, Brenda. Brenda's still learning the concept of personal space. You're, 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 uh, you're awfully aggressive, aren't you? You're assertive. Yeah. <laughs> she is. She, she, she acts, she acts sweet, but she is disrespectful in her forwardness. But yeah. that's, uh, well, I, I like being hugged, so, yeah. so that's all right. <laughs> the trick is to do it. No. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Brandy. Hello there. Yes. So I guess we'll walk with you today, Brandy. Yeah, we'll start by just doing the basics, brushing a little bit. And uh, if you want to check the hooves, uh, Run, I sure. Is extremely sure. Therapeutic. Yeah, I think you're the one who did try to pick me up last time. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's this whole cowboy movies where the, cow, the horse his head, and then they like the, the horse's head like pushes the guy on the saddle. Oh, well, you have to try that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she great, Leah? She loves it. Okay, now Leah, if you could, something for her so that she can see you as the unconditional leader. Okay, you can just kind of move her head around and step up in front of her. Okay. Take one hand as <laughs> the head and then the rope in the other. Move her out and get to the outside. I don't want her to crowd you. I'm always air on safety, everybody. I really don't like it if you're here and the horse is there. Because then you're pinned up against the fence. Oh, yeah. I always try to move out and get the horse out and, and be in front and have to be in the center. Uh-huh. If you have to move, you can. And that's just a safety thing. Right. Even though, obviously, I don't think there's any danger with her here. It's just good to always have that protocol. Sure. Okay? Always air on the side of safety. So that you can bring her head around and walk on there you go, perfect. Good, good, good. So she's following you instead of sort dictating the, uh, the rule. So what do we want to do now? So we're gonna put two ropes on Shasta's halter. Uh huh. And you're each gonna you're gonna lead her together, one person on each rope. Okay. okay. Yeah. So Ron and Leah walking Brandy together. And notice how relaxed they are and how relaxed Brandy is. Her head is down. She's following. She's being quite, quite the little team player here. Loop around to this side. There we go. She does. But as you all know, she's really a people person, a yeah. people horse. She's really, her previous owner really loved these two. 
spend a lot of time with him. Brandy has been ridden, Shasta not so much, so we'll be working on that this spring. Okay, there we go. Someone is a veteran, and he would even go trail riding with him, and he'd shoot guns off the back. Wow. So she's gun resistant. She's what you call literally bomb proof. Yes, Shasta came up behind her, Leah, and she didn't like that. She's been really loving with me, too. She knows her in the barn. And of course, she doesn't have so many of the behavior problems as far as licking, rubbing, nibbling, but uh, let's take her over there. And here, but uh, nibbling's not a bad thing, is it? Or, or yes is it? And no, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of running with it, but to be honest with you, Ron, I, I really don't like it. Yeah. Because they are still an animal. Right. So, so they could hurt. Up. I like it today, but then I like it to end. Yeah. Because she couldn't end. She could she but decide, well, I'm going to just give a little test here. Uh, they nip at each other. Look see. at Shasta's back and it's stuff. Oh. Little pixel on there. But from other horses nipping. Yeah. It's a dominant thing. Aha, uh -huh, so dominance, I see. Like with me, for our previous owner, if she looks at it as a, as a uh, she's still being the leader, but when we're just starting out here and sorting things, uh -huh. it can be confusing for her, and she might try a little nip. I see. Being okay. Always safe. Not a thing to encourage. Look at Chastity. Yeah, she's right this hanging time. right there. Hi, Nikki babes. Yes. <laughs> okay, whoa. Everybody wants to be in on the act, it seems. See, and that's what we like. See, everybody, see how Shadow's going right along. We're probably not tearing out, running out here after this. Loose rope around because you have that connection with her, so she's like she almost psychically knows what you want her to do. Now it's a little challenging when there's two humans, but that's part of the fun of doing it with two ropes. Well, it's a little complicated, but... But Shadow isn't... Uh, Nikki is dominant to Shadow, so it's a bit of a... Uh, it's, a it's not a top-down hierarchy. There you go. There. <laughs> I said I don't mind this for the first day, but I'm going to be a little bit mindful. Yeah. This, is, this is your last chance, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like this. The last dance, the last kiss. It's going to be gotta stop meeting like this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Now they can't get over to the menus, can they? No, but I told them. Yes, darling. Thank mm -hmm. you.